As a system administrator of the GoBride platform, you may sometimes need to add in extra rooms or if rooms even um, change name. So we can go to settings and to meet as that's everything to do with rooms. In previous videos, we've already explained types and room profiles. So if we were just going into rooms now, I can be adding in a room. We can give that now a name. So if we're calling that just a boardroom, if there was an image, that would be really handy uh, so that we could start to see a picture of the room on the GoBride portal when someone's actually booking that room. Just makes it a little bit more familiar. Uh, we can then change the profile for that. So if we were going for a demo office or the type of room that we were actually looking for as well on that. So in that case, this is just a meeting room. Any particular instructions um, that you might want to leave so that, you know, leave the room tidy or to actually add in something about room configuration there, how to leave the room. Again, as usual, we can just change the um, location. So when it comes to a map, we've got the right location for this particular room to um, appear on. And we've also got the capacity that the meeting room could have as well. So that's going to be important when we come to searching on the map or, or searching for our rooms through the search function. What's going to be important as well is the service account. If you're looking at integrating your rooms with your uh, Office 365, then you'd have performed an integration beforehand. Uh, but the important thing is that if we were doing that, you then need to have the service account uh, email address for that particular room. And what that means is if someone books the room in GoBride, that will filter through into the Office 365 calendar. And likewise, if a room is booked in the Office 365 calendar, it filters through into the GoBride mapping system as well. So uh, knowing the service account email address for that particular room is really important. We can also be adding in room amenities. So when it comes to searching, then if we needed video conferencing and an interactive display, for instance, then that's going to help the searching criteria. And all you'd need to do then is to click save. And when we've saved, that means all of this room is going to be available uh, to be linked to a floor plan. And we've got a floor plan mapping video as well if you wanted to watch that uh, but for creating your meeting rooms it's as simple as going into rooms uh, we can add a room and we can then create that room accordingly